This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. So let's uh, start our last session of Bash Scripting. And today we are going to uh, make a script, a simple, not that simple, but simple. It will be called simple script. And let me show you that what we are going to do from scratch. CD, uh, CD script. Unless, mm -hmm. where is the IP dynamic IP? Yeah, yes. Run the IP that it. See what it does. Wait for a while. Okay. See. First, we have a message here, hello world. Then in here, another echo. If we only type echo, we'll have a, a break line. We have, like we have in HTML VR, VR tag. And then we are having the, this message. Please wait while I generate some data. Then this is the, uh, this line. Let me show you the, uh, the code behind that. Is it static? Yes. And <clears throat> in here, hello. Hello, guys. Whether this is a message or uh, this is a dynamic, we are getting that from a command. The, 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 the first one is the, uh, echo. Is this that command? Uh, echo hello world. Yeah. And the hello name is, I think this is the dynamic, sorry guys. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna show you here. That what it actually makes subline takes open the IP static. I am ready. So, bring the console here. Not that wide. Make it a little okay. We have line there and zoom out. Okay. See, this is the uh, this line. Hello. Uh, please wait while I generate data. Then what it does? Uh, it will bring the Google ten times. See. 10 means count 10 and then this line then uh, echo and uh, hello hello who oh, name name where is this name name is here and in name variable we have stored i let's make it good practice okay. and echo user and what do you have in user in user, we have a command that we might. And we have studied that whenever we are typing a, a command, so that should be in the backtrack. It's called backtrack. And then what we have, uh, your IP address is this. Okay. Where did we get the IP address from? Uh, IP, see, the if we type if config, and we have grip the broadcast then org and all of this let's uh do it practical now okay let it be here i'll open another section okay and in here go to desktop yes i'm in desktop Subline text, make a file by the name of IP or static. Static dot search. Okay. Um, but before starting this, let's have the result of uh, the IP address. Or we will do that by doing step by step. Okay. That would be much better. I prefer. Okay, the file is open. 
by saying what what do we have hello world this is the message okay we have start from ben bash and what do we have what is the message hello world Hello world. And we must put echo. Okay. Control S, save it, then come back to your desktop and see the like a list. Yes, we have static dot message. Look at executable. Uh, what is the name? Static dot message. Run it. Static. See? The first one, the first line, we have that you here. Clear it. Okay, what is the next line? We have a the echo, the empty line. Type on the echo. Okay, what is the next line? Please wait while I generate some data. Okay, go, go ahead. Please wait while I generate, generate some data. Yes, some data. Okay, and we have an underline. Okay, this is this one. Okay, Control S, run it again. Okay, now here we do have same as here. Okay, now uh, where is the this one? Hello, guys. Hello, user. At the top of this one, let's we uh, let's declare our variables. Okay, this should be name. Uh, name without space. Whenever we are declaring a variable, which it shouldn't be, uh, we must not uh, give it a space like we have in Python. So inside this variable, we have to declare the name. Okay. Cont not console is yet. Echo, what should it echo? Variable name. It will show us guys. Run it again. See? <clears throat> guys. And what is this one? User. See? If we type, who am I? Says guys, we need this command to be uh, in, in whenever we are uh, executing our bash script. So this command will also run and uh, it will uh, show the output of the command. That's why you are seeing the username. If I change to, but let, let's first write it here, uh, user username username and we have to copy this one or we can write it uh, and anything we are writing that must be inside the battery okay and let's try it with this one if it didn't work we will put it inside the braces who am i we must see guys there Okay, why? Because we didn't uh, mention, we didn't echo that. Echo, referencing, reference which variable? Username variable. Okay, control A, send, run again. See, okay. nice. But uh, let's uh, run it as a sudo. Uh, let's uh, log into the sudo account, then we will run it again. Now run the uh, static static dot sh. See, we are now root. It will uh, execute this command where my, and it will show the output from there. <coughs> okay, let's get back to the guys. Uh, let's see, guys. Clear. I'll use bash. Clear. What else do we have? IP address. Where did we get this IP address from? If we check, uh, F config, where it says, uh, see, 
your IP address is 192.168.45.139.69. We uh, <clears throat> are getting that from there. So how we are getting the exact portion of that reason, which is IP address? We are getting by the help of grep. Okay, do f config, f config done. Let me bring it here. Okay, Claire. F config. Okay, uh, f config then pipe grep. Which line? What should I mention in here? Which what is unique in this line? or in the entire block of uh, or entire result the broad, broad, broadcast word is unique okay show me only that line which contains the broad broadcast word see we are having that line only okay and we will uh, cut it further from there uh, show me uh, cut we can do by the help of awk also but let's try first the uh, cutting delimiter what should be the delimiter delimiter must be uh, um, space let's uh, mention the delimiter space okay and which field should it take? Uh, F2, let's go for F2. Oh, no, FP. No, F3. And how about F4? Because uh, I think, because there is the space, that's why we are having no output. Uh, F9. Yes, now we got it. We got here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth is I need. We should tell it that it must be F10. See, we are having the result only, we grab only the IP address. Okay, now this is the uh, entire code. We should copy it. Copy. Copy. And then, uh, okay. The, what should be the name of this one? IP. IP and uh, backtrack. Inside backtrack, we must press press command. That whenever I call or I reference this variable, uh, I need the output from this variable. I need to see the output of that. And let's echo that. And also we should run it. We must be, we must have a sudo privilege in order to run this command, sudo. Echo, what should I echo? IP, the name of the variable is IP address. Okay, now let's run it. Okay. Uh, static. See, this is the result of run it again. Yeah, this is the uh, IP address. We should tell it that. Okay, your name is or you type your name as. And here we should also have a good message. Your you logged in as as username, and in here we should have a message that your IP address is this. Run it again. Okay. See. Hello, please wait while I generate. Uh, then let's have here a uh, echo. Okay, save, run it again. 
you type you type your name as guys then um, you log in as guys this is from the command the who am i command and your ip address is uh, this one uh, we have uh, we get so we are getting this result from the uh, from by running this command which is sudo and config and blah 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 yeah and i told you that we can also get this result by the help of awk let's try that can we do that or no uh, till here broadcast okay oh sorry yeah this hit that f command uh, and then we only uh, want to show we want to see the, the line which has broad broadcast word in there then i want the which column arc the and print okay uh, which uh, column you want to see uh let's try it randomly what we did okay this is the fourth column if we type column number one i need yeah in here column number two yes in this this is only the command this is all, also the command which are uh, uh which we can get the result of ip address from let's make it comment and type it again with the inside the battery so paste it okay control s run the script again see you are getting the ip address okay what else do we have in here uh we have echo because we are uh, we are seeing this message, but above that, we are seeing a empty line. Echo. Okay. Uh, echo another message. Uh, I just thanked Google.com uh, with the following result. With the following uh, result. And let's uh, make another line for it. It's a, uh, it should look a bit beautiful. Okay. One more echo. Okay, let's save it and run it. How will it look? Yeah. It is now same as this one, but much better than than that okay how you are getting this uh, result this time time value okay uh let's think google think google.com how many times 10 times oh see 10 two three four five Uh, let me make it bigger yeah now it's better these are the times which we are getting in here okay uh, but let's uh, redirect the result of bring into a file and what should be that file uh, temp 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 leave it temp okay now it's executing when it finishes we will see nothing yes now let's cat it cat temp see this is the result every time we cat we see the same okay we will uh we want to check or we want to get only these values 
the lowest and the highest value, highest response, uh, the lowest response time, the fastest response time, and the uh, slowest response time, response time, or shortest or longest. Okay. How do we get cat temp temp file and grape? What should it grape? It should grape. Or let's uh, directly use op. Op is very useful. Print me which uh, which column? First column. Uh, we have decided yesterday that the hmm, field separator in op by default is space. Okay, like we have in the grep in cut that we must define the uh, field separator the delimiter but uh, in org by default space is this field separator okay first column second third four, uh, fourth and space fifth sixth seventh eighth yeah so the i want the eighth column see okay. we are having that but the issue is that we also have time appended to these results we do not want that okay what should we do cut and we must now define the delimiter okay what should be the delimiter the this one okay uh minus uh equal sign and show me which field so if we choose if we set the delimiter then this is the first field and this is the second field okay f2 see we are getting the result okay what else do we have uh, and in here it didn't show all the results but only one result which is the shortest or the longest see in here we are having multiple multiple but in here we are having only uh, we are seeing only one result what is the uh, command for that tell uh, we want to see uh, only one so that is minus one why why we didn't get any result although here in here the, the result is here in here this is the result if i choose minus two okay we should see loss okay because we want to uh, see the longest longest result the longest response time and the longest will come to the last so that's why we are using tail and tail will show us uh, the result from the button but uh, right now we want the uh, shortest one okay shortest response time let's define it here the variable name short test. and the uh, longest yes okay uh -huh. uh, let's make it on the name and in here uh, we should have this message echo shortest response time and in here we must see the uh, variable of short shortest and in here echo longest response time okay and reference to longest response okay let's see uh, what do we get by running this command by running this script static nothing why because we didn't mention the command there yet we didn't uh 
and then type the command which we will uh, get from the which file the temp file we want the shortest and longest value to show in our uh, to uh, uh, to open that or to use that in inside our script and where where is this uh, data coming from that data is inside the inside the temp file cat tmp see we are getting that from here and let's re i'll repeat that again okay cat tmp okay i want this one this uh, field okay for uh, this use in here rank me which column the it it column we are getting this one okay now uh, cut set the delimiter delimiter must be uh, this minus sign uh, equal sign and which field should it take it should take the second field so this will be the first and this will be the second active okay but we want only one result which is the uh, uh, shortest or longest value we will go for the longest value first and the shortest value first and the shortest will come from upside tell if we type tell it will show the result from the bottom but we will go for head if you remember head minus one only one value okay why we didn't get any anything because in here there is a space or we have also loss but let's uh, remove this one too this uh, the empty line so that we would be able to get that although we can do a uh, head minus two see but we do not want these uh, empty lines or loss so what is the syntax for removing uh, empty lines Okay, thank you. So we could see that. Yes, the removing line syntax is I have that with me in here. Commands make a note for yourself. The one note is better. The for taking note, I use that. Since a long time. Mm, yes, yes, yes. That is here. Uh, huh. Let's. Uh, this is for left stream, right stream. Remove an empty line with no white space. Need all line which may contain white space. Let's choose this one. Okay. Okay. Copy. I'll share this one with you also. but uh, we will uh, before getting the uh, result from the top we should paste that command okay in here sed set let's see what we will get okay what is the problem let's see mm -hmm. Or we should not use that. Mm -hmm. It's not working. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, uh, this is, see now, we are having no space, not at the top, nor at the bottom. All right, I want the uh, head only one result from the top for the shortest response time head minus one see this okay let's copy this command in copy and paste it in which variable in the shortest okay backtrack 
means I did like trade the play state safe. Okay, let's run the uh, script again. See the shortest response time. Okay, now let's go for the longest response time. And uh, how do we do that? Uh huh. Okay, if we uh, just change, let's change it to tail from the button. You are getting loss. We are getting loss. We are uh, because we are having the loss word in this file. No, no, no. So, more things. Oh, sorry. Let me show you that. Yeah, in the uh, the la last of this file, but at uh, the bottom of this file, we have our this. So how to omit that? How to get rid of that? Just at that grip hyphen V, which word we do not want to see? That word is L O S S. See? Now we will say that show me the result from from the button and that is tell tell minus uh, one mm -hmm. tell if see mm -hmm. tell minus if minus one yes and let's copy this command and paste it into this variable and what is that variable longest inside back trick paste it save let's run that again see we are having our script successfully okay How was it? Okay, let let me do the uh, static one so we would be able to type the name of the domain. In here, we are getting only uh, the domain name is static. Every time we type, every time we execute this script, uh, it will it will ping the Google. But we want to ping another website. We will type that. Uh, see where is that? Uh, we are getting the result the result from the uh, from the temp file but now let's make it a, a dynamic what is dynamic dynamic will look like this okay uh, run the IP the dynamic see is asking for the domain. So what domain should we go Amazon.com? Please wait while I generate some data. Okay, and let's see what do we have in there. Cat or open this one sub IP dynamic. Yeah, this is the command behind the uh, this is the command behind our script. All are the same. Sorry, in here also we are we are having the interface. Interface, our network interface that we are getting that from here. Sudo f config password. This is the interface, okay? And your IP address, we have done that with the static, and those are all the same. The only changes is uh, or uh, the IP address, and uh, we are typing that 
typing the name of uh, uh, typing our domain name okay let's go for this one and uh, let's edit our ip static okay so where we are getting mm, let me check it once again all are the same interface no i must mention the interface let me copy this and new file oh, where it will be saved save it in desktop save where in desktop ip i'll type i'll name it dynamic okay ip or dynamic dynamic all right that is safe now where do you have uh, changes interface yes let's define a variable declare a variable interface and where we are getting this interface from from this command sudo f config okay when you did f config just bring me or show me the line which has uh, at zero or use awk awk single code graphics mm. uh, what is that yeah. print which field first field uh, first column okay no we are doing mystic we need to use grip here grip at zero at zero see it did at zero let, let me show you from here layer screen uh -huh. yes we will see only this line we will we want to get this one only that's why we will use awk single and uh, yes please print me print me which one the first column but we are having a problem that it shows the column also how to get rid of that uh, cut hyphen d and the uh, delimiter what should be the delimiter delimiter must be this one color and show me the first field see okay let's copy this whole entire line and copy where should i paste that in this variable okay okay uh, equal and black trick paste it here okay save i think this script is not uh, executable yet how do we know that ls where we are we are in desktop and we are having our script here see those scripts are uh, which are uh, uh, executable which they have those scripts which are which have uh, execute permission they are their color is they have a color i do not know about the i don't i forgot the color name this is that let's make it skew sketch mod you can use this one for all for entire system for owner or user for, for group and for others ch mod uh, entire permission to what to dynamic dot sh done let's run it let's uh, dynamic okay see yes within the within show it here your ip address above this one echo uh, your network 
network interface and and interface oh interface yes let's run it again uh, where is it yeah in here your interface okay this is done so what we need to do now we must uh, tell the we must uh, input the uh, domain the, the domain name right now it's getting from where it is getting the results these results from the temp2 the temp file but uh, and uh, on that temp2 file uh, is the result of ping ping google.com see cat temp this is the result from google but we want to have the dynamic domain dynamic domain name which we are providing to the program to the script okay let's see what how did i do that where is my dynamic we have a our function uh, before that where is our uh, domain inside domain what we have mentioned okay yeah it is reading read the this will be the message see uh, static you bring it here and in here yeah it should be here echo no uh, let's give it a command comment so users those who will who's going to read our script they should know that which section they what is in which section this is sorry this is uh input section okay read p for prompt the cursor will the yeah the cursor will blink and it will ask you and wait for for the input from user what should it uh, what should be the message please please enter your please enter domain name domain name okay in which uh, variable uh, should it be saved in domain okay control s Let's run it. What what will it it looks like? Uh, if we type anything, we will not get the result of that domain because in here we are getting the results from here. This is only just a prompt. Although this is not a uh, domain but we are getting the results and these results are from that temp folder okay clear it and we should mention we should write a function here that uh, the the user must input something there something to the uh, to the variable to the system to the concept function f two space one space here and one space here f z what 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 does z mean uh, z flag means that if it is uh, empty what what is empty the domain is empty then then echo something what should be echo uh, you didn't entered the link provide provide oh provide any domain name solution marks okay and p p means finish okay uh let's run it if I type nothing, syntax saver, where 
KF. Mm, let me check first. That is okay, buddy. Okay. Then, no. Then. Did we mention then? Yes. And here we are having then. No, this is not. Run it. Zero. Yes. Where is the uh, echo? The uh, message? The empty message? Yeah. See? You didn't provide any domain name. Okay? But we are uh, still getting the results. Let's get off the, these results now. Okay. How did we get the results? How we are getting the result from the uh, inputted domain that we have input to the system? See here. Okay. Uh, interface, shortest, mm -hmm. domain name, think. Okay. Think domain. Uh, okay, anything inside there? Temp to. Okay. Let's do it. Mm, and here, if it is not, yes, okay, it should start from here. Think, uh, what should it think? Domain, domain, okay. And the result of this pink must be stored where? Inside another file. Which file? We will name it temp2. Temp2. Okay. Uh, well, let's execute it first, then we will go further step by step. And let it minimize. Okay, please enter the domain name. The domain name must be Amazon. Amazon.com. It will ping it. And okay, okay, sorry. The ping will continuously uh, goes on. So we must mention the how many times. And that uh, option was to uh, mention here uh, count only five times. And let's see the the this file that. Uh, what 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 data it has? Cat temp two. See, this is the continuously generated thing from the Amazon. See, Amazon. Clear. Okay, now run it again. It will store only five lines. Uh, Amazon. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Done. Got temp two. See, this is only five times from Amazon. Okay. So in here, uh, let's change the name. The temp two. Uh, because it will cut the. In here, it, it is getting the uh, results from temp two. A temp only temp file and inside this temp file we are having result of google see cat temp this is the result from google yeah google.com we will only change the name see and run it again uh yes amazon.com Yes, we are getting that. If we cat, let's see if it is correct or not. The shortest and the longest. Cat temp two. Shortest uh, 242 to 39. Uh, okay, why it is different? Let's copy this uh, command and check it from here. Okay, paste it. What it will do? It will cut the data from the temp2. 
it will print uh, the eighth and the which column? Yeah, eight column. Now eight column. And then it will cut the uh, this one, and it will uh, delete the empty lines, and it will show only the uh, top value. Two forty two. See now it is correct. Okay, if we uh, check this one too. Copy and copy it, paste it. Okay, let's run it. Yeah, we are getting the exact value. Okay, but if we run it, because okay, now I got it. Because every time we run the the script, so the response time will be different from the previous one that's why we are we didn't get the same result i thought the, that we have made a mistake but we were right uh, run it amazon.com mm. see now that is good okay okay guys so uh, it was all for the last session of bash scripting and if you have any question please let me know i'll share these files with you so you can practice it with the help of video and you can check the commands from the file and that's all